to La Cucaracha and the other Caribbean stuff that we're going to do is that rhythm that you heard on that first clip on the Ahachi. It goes like this. You're keeping a steady beat and over top of it you're going one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. La cucaracha, la cucaracha, da ya la pata pata. La cucaracha, la cucaracha, da ya la pata pata. And you hear how the tune locks into that. So it's worth practicing. You don't have to necessarily keep the foot going, but if you can get that syncopated little clap in the middle, that's the rhythm that we can also play on the fiddle. Only the two first beats of it. And all you need are two chords, a C chord, which you can do with your open G, and your E, no C in it, but it's a C chord, and then a G chord. So we would have this. La cuca. La cuca racha, da 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 da. La cuca racha, la cuca racha, da 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 da. La cuca racha, la cuca racha, da 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 da. La cuca racha, la cuca racha. with a low two on the middle two strings. If you keep going up, you need a low one. It's a good idea to make sure you know the arpeggio as well, especially for this tune. It goes like this. Three, one. of the C arpeggio are giving us our C chords. Um, G arpeggio is giving us our G chords. So you can play other C and G chords if you want to, other than the ones I showed you a minute ago. But I'm just going to play the tune slowly now. So here we go, starting on the third finger on the D string.
idea that the lines don't start on the beat, everything else will seem like a piece of cake. So there you go, la cucaracha.